Back to the grind with the only free MMA channel that fucking matters full time MMA. And my boy XXLWLT420 just sent me an email message. He said, Hey man, I think your PayPal button is broke. I've been trying to donate for the last few days. And whenever I click your link, there's no way to donate to you. And you know what? That's funny you say that. Because <laughs> my shit's been dry as fuck, bro. But no, no, no. I, I fucking went and I checked and you were right. Yeah, but I think that shit's fixed now, so. My bad, dude. <laughs> but anyways, he also said, what do you think about Nick Diaz facing a suspension for a possible anti-doping violation? I did just see that shit when I woke up, brother, and I got an article right here, so let's get into it. And if you remember, Dana White, not too, just, just yesterday or the day before, just said uh, he doesn't think Nick Diaz or Ronda Rousey will ever fight again. But he wasn't saying because of this. He was saying because it's a young man's game and you have to be hungry. So Dana was hinting that he wasn't hungry, and it, you know, and, and this right here, this is not good at all. I mean, this gets pretty deep though. So let's get into it. Supposedly, okay, it was he didn't fail a suspension for drugs or anything. It wasn't weed. It wasn't um, steroids or anything like that. But under USADA, you have to tell where you are. You have to tell where you're going to be every day for the next three months. There's an app on your phone. You have to tell where you're going to be every day for the next three months. And if so, you sort of can get a hold of you for random testing. And if you don't do that, if you don't comply, if they show up and you're not where you said you're going to be, that counts as, all right, you missed a test. You can miss three tests and then you face a possible suspension and it's like um, you get flagged. So supposedly Nick Diaz has not been able to be located three separate occasions now and so now he's facing the consequ consequences and repercussions damn this is fucking weird as hell man because first of all i mean yeah this is shitty you know we, we nick diaz is known for you know one of being a clean fighter known for speaking out against steroids so the fact that he's getting flagged by usada is already weird even though he's been flagged before for marijuana, suspended for five years, everyone signed a petition and got lifted early, he still hasn't fought since then, and now he's getting flagged again, but for a different reason. So fuck, yeah, I, I honestly don't believe Nick Diaz is gonna fight in the UFC again, man. Sucks to say it, but after this, unless somehow this gets turned around and reversed, which I really don't think it is, I really don't, I'm pretty sure he's about to get suspended, I don't know how long, but Nick Diaz is definitely probably facing a suspension here. But um, the thing is, it's weird though, man. Think about it. These, like, think about it, man. You have an app on your phone, and you have to tell your boss where you're going to be every second of the day for three months in advance. I don't know where I'm going to be two, three days from now, let alone three months from now every day. And you, and but at the same time, you're an independent contractor. At the same time. You know, there's no, you see what I'm, the, the union never came through, so you're an independent contractor, you're not an employee, so you're not an employee, but you have to wear a uniform until your employee, or well, until your contractor, where you're going to be at all times, and you can't contract with anyone else. That just, I don't know, it just sounds like an employee to me, but that's not what this video is about. But that is weird, you know, it's like, that's, that's why he's getting suspended. Because he didn't let them know where he was every second of the day. So when they tried to locate him where he said he was going to be and he wasn't there. Now, oh, there's one flag. After three of those, and you know Nick Diaz, he's probably fucking got high and passed out somewhere. You know, he's a busy man. He's doing shit. The Diaz brothers are a hot commodity right now. They might have thought they were going to be here today. Oh, yeah, we scheduled to go do this party at this club on Saturday. But a, a different club offered us more money to come show up. So we went there instead. Oh, we forgot to change it on the app. So now that's three flags. And, you, I mean, I don't know. It, it, I see I see both ways here. You, you sign the contract or whatever. So you got to do what it says. And you got to honor the contract. But at the same time, it sucks to see Nick Diaz fucking facing another suspension before he even got to fight one time after his last suspension. So I'll be looking forward to the comments on this video. With that being said, I don't know what else to say, man. It is what it is. Let the hitters know what the fuck you tell me in the comments, dude.